You know that hot new Atlanta dining spot that everybody's talking about? But you won't see that here. In the next hour, we'll check out some of the long timers in this city's dining scene. Some of them you don't know, others you just forgot about. But get ready to get delicious with Atlanta's hidden restaurant treasures. Everybody likes to eat. Of course, each may have his own individual preference, but no matter whether it's a hot dog at the county fair or a full course dinner at the Ritz, there's no denying that people like to eat. Well, I know I do. And some of my favorite places are the great mom and pop joints all over Atlanta. These are places that have at least one foot rooted firmly in the past and a city that's constantly moving forward. They've endured all the fickle variations in food trends and withstood changes in their communities. Neighboring establishments might have gone out of business, but these cornerstones of the Atlanta dining tradition keep drawing me back. I'm Jim Stacy, and I know what you're thinking. What does this guy know about food? Well, I'm the owner of the Palookaville Gourmet Corn Dog Wagon. I've been a restaurateur, I've owned a saloon, and I've cooked in more places than I can count. And like the guy in the film said, I love to eat. So let's go get delicious. We'll head down Cheshire Bridge Road in Midtown first. And we're actually gonna be hitting a few places on this street later. Maybe it's a coincidence that there are so many good places here, or maybe it's just the uniqueness of Cheshire Bridge itself that inspires that creativity. It's um, a colorful neighborhood, to say the least, and you never know what you might see. Now, like I said, I run a corn dog wagon, so I can fry up anything I want, whenever I want. But when I want chicken livers, I leave that to the experts. I know what you're missing. What you need is chicken cooked up slow. Skillet's good and greasy. Don't have fry it easy. Eat it here or go. That taste hits your tongue and... Of course, I figured they'd be open for lunch. <laughs> My mistake. But for chicken livers this good, I guess I can wait. Hey, is that pie? <laughs> Colonnade is one of my favorite authentic southern restaurants. The dining room is large and unpretentious, and it has a full-service bar. What else could you want? Well, maybe to remember that they don't serve lunch. Ryan Cobb is the executive chef, and he told me what makes the Colonnade work so well. When I think of southern food, I think about chicken livers, and when I think about chicken livers, I think about the Colonnade. And uh, these things transcend any chicken liver I ever had. What, Ron, what do you do to these things? Well, honestly, the secret is simplicity. Yeah. It really is. It's just a real light batter and a quick fry. Uh, we make sure that we have a fresh, consistent chicken liver, and that's about it. What else on the menu, old school logs, is the most popular dish here, do you think? Believe it or not, and what was a surprise to me, is our turkey and dressing is a huge seller. Really? Um, of course, fried chicken still is king. Yeah. Yeah, um, sure. Our regular fried chicken here is king. The turkey and dressing, uh, roast pork is pretty big here, and uh, fried shrimp. I always see people with ribs here, too. You'll do with it. The short ribs. The yeah. short ribs are an old time favorite as well. Yeah, that reminds me of my grandfather for sure, that old. Yeah. Stewed short rib, so <laughs> for sure. So the colonnade is famous. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, is is famous for older Atlantans and the the meat and vegetable, real traditional Southern fare. And you and I both are are younger, so as a chef, you've got newer taste and kind of bolder ideas as far as where the food's coming from. What I've been doing lately here is I'm doing tapas or small plates, which has become pretty popular uh, in the restaurant world. This particular dish is a, a jerk seared. Ahi tuna. It's served over a tropical fruit relish with a light yellow curry aioli. 
actually the Crayola, you can really, really smell it coming out. Let's try this. <laughs> it's part of the job. That, the part you hate, right? Yeah, it's just terrible. <laughs> I can this part of it. That's great. It's a great piece of fish. The season's really good on it. It's kind of mild and sharp at the same time. How is this, how is this doing for y'all? It's doing really well. You see a lot here, people still bringing their parents and the people who, who grew up eating here in the 50s and 60s. Sure. And they're a little younger and they might be looking for to branch out a little bit more from the traditional menu. Brian's been adding some new dishes to complement the traditional fare. And there's one specialty that really jumped off the menu. Mmm, delicious. I marinated it and uh, seared it, and I did a spicy, sweet, and sour with it with some steamed jasmine rice. And we sold kangaroo hand over foot. That's what gets me about this place is it seems on the outset to be so traditional. And, you know, and you see your little old lady on her rascal balancing her martini coming through here after church, and then you've got kangaroo on the menu. And that's what really, that's what really turns me on about this joint, you know. That's, that's what I love about the colonnade and what makes me extremely happy to come and eat here every time, you know. It's like it's never the same place twice, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's exactly, exactly the same, same place And twice. that's what's great about it, man. <laughs> Ray Merritt's been working here for 37 years, and she's seen a few things she'll never forget like the night they had that special guest. Across the street, back across the street, through the parking lot, and up through the motel. <laughs> and he, he was streaking. He, was streaking. he, he had nothing. Was about maybe about 10 years ago, 10, 15 years. Well, I guess years. that never goes out of style, running around naked in a parking lot. His socks and his glasses on. <laughs> so he was dressed. That was, that was his socks <laughs> was and his glasses. For dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. There's plenty of times we come in and we see the same people. You know, they kind of, kind of seem to be on the same <laughs> schedule as we are. You know, I get the same waitress. Order the same dinners, yeah, well, fried chicken. And everybody, you know, everybody that works here is always super, super nice and super good to us. You know? I love my job. I love my job. <laughs> sure, sure. I mean, I can see why. I mean, it's a great place. Since I had a few extra livers, I thought I'd hit the bar. But on the way, I bumped into Arthur, who's been coming to the Colonnade since 1935. How did you first come here? My parents were my parents. Really? It's an outstanding place. I like it here. Yeah. It's more like home. Yeah, sure. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I feel I feel like uh, when I walk in that uh, these folks are my friends, too. They are. You know, they know me. Well, they've always been friendly sure. to me. Oliver's another regular here, so we compared notes on gravy. I just don't like gravy floating everything. Oh, I do. More gravy, the better. In fact, I would like a double scoop of gravy and a gravy cone. <laughs> Jacob, the bartender, was busy, so I killed some time in the Colonnade's vast library. And as soon as he got unstuck, I jumped in. So do you think that uh, do you think that the Colonnade having a full service lounge kind of adds to the charm of the place? I think it easily does. It's the fact is we have uh, not only do we have drinks, but we've got drinks that are always strong. Yeah, and they're always consistent. And when you come in, I'm going to know you by your drink. Sure. Sure, well, that's the mark of a good bartender as far as I'm concerned. I mean, being, a, being an old salt-hearted beer slinger myself, you know, if you walk in as a regular and your drink is waiting for you on the bar, oh, yeah. then, I mean, that's an extra 2 or $3 right out of my pocket for you right there. I hope you so. Know. That's what impresses me about this joint is everyone's always smiling at you. <laughs> Everyone knows who you are, even if you've been here a couple of times. And I think the fact that you have a nice, strong cocktail just adds to the whole genteel flavor of this place. 